Howdy folks, Josh here with the Weekend Angler short tip Saturday video for you today. I'm going to show you guys how you can save a bunch of money using just a couple of zip ties. Stick around, I'll help you save some money. Alright guys, like I said, I'm going to show you guys how to save some money today using a couple of zip ties. Now, I don't have a magic wand or anything like that to uh, put money back in your pocket. But, what we're going to be talking about is rigging up anchors. Now, a lot of the anchors coming out, this is, a, uh, this is one I built myself. But, uh, it's similar in design to a lot of the hur hurricane anchors, never snagged, never lost. All, the, uh, all these... Uh, grappling hook style anchor manufacturers are making things about the same way and a lot of them are adding on a couple of different tie points for your anchor you've got one up here close to the tines usually one up there on the top now what we're going to be doing today I'm going to be rigging up this anchor and show you guys how you can rig it in such a way that if you do manage to get it snagged it comes out a whole lot easier so let's get the camera moved. I'll show you guys what we're doing and I'll show you where the zip ties come into play and uh, how they're gonna save you some money. Give me just a moment. All right guys, like I was saying, this is a homemade anchor. This is one I built uh, a couple years ago. It's uh, held up in the Mississippi River, Ohio River, all the current I've thrown at it. And uh, this particular one was relatively cheap for me to build. But if you go and buy something along these lines, whether it be the uh, Monster Anchor, the Never Snag, Never Lost, all the different ones that are floating out there right now, you're gonna spend somewhere in the neighborhood of 50 to 60, maybe even more, to uh, get an anchor like this. Now, if you spend that kind of money on an anchor, you wanna get it back every single time that you throw it out. So, uh, what, what I've done here, the way I, the way I rig mine up, I'm gonna show you guys, I take a section of chain, and this chain, it's due up to be replaced. It's a little bit short. It's what I had on on me at the time At the top of the chain. I've got a quick link I've tied my anchor line to that using just more or less a modified clinch knot Now like I said at the bottom of the anchor near the tines I Put on a connection point now what I've done. I use another quick link Attach my chain to that and up here at the top of the anchor We've got a connection point what we're going to do we're going to hold the anchor chain parallel to the shaft of the anchor we're going to take one of our zip ties pass it through the connection point through a link of the chain and tighten it up now I use the cheap Harbor Freight zip ties they come in a package of a hundred they cost me about a buck and what I have found using them is that for my particular application I think two zip ties does better. So we'll kind of tighten those down a bit. Snip off the tail end. And now this anchor is rigged. Alright guys, once you have your anchor rigged up, you're going to toss that off the front of the boat, same as, same as you always would. However, in this case, the zip ties are going to keep the uh, anchor chain and anchor rope coming out straight on the anchor. But, in the event that you get down there, get this snagged on a rock, a big old tree, you know, a piece of concrete, rebar, whatever, and you get this anchor stuck, what you can do is get directly over that anchor, pull up on your anchor rope, and with enough force, you're going to break these zip ties. When those zip ties break, let me cut them real quick. Those zip ties break, your chain's going to move, and you're going to pull that anchor out backwards. Now guys, I have, like I said, I've used this anchor a lot on the Mississippi, I've used it on the Ohio, used it in lakes, everywhere. I've had it hung up in just any, you name it, I've had it hung up in it. I have yet to lose an anchor. Now, after saying that, I'll probably lose it next time I go out. But uh, you get it hung up, you get those zip ties to break start pulling and you can usually pull that anchor out backwards it'll come out of the snag the same direction it went into it and uh, 
There have been times, just for whatever reason, I haven't been able to get the zip ties to break. When that happens, all I do is take, take some of my anchor line, double it through one of my cleats, and uh, if I have to, I'll fire up the uh, outboard motor, pull against it a little bit, get enough force generated to break those zip ties. But uh, guys, if you do that, if you rig your anchors up that way, 99% of the time you're gonna be able to get them back no matter what you get them snagged in. There's always that chance of losing an anchor anytime you toss it off the front of the boat. But hopefully uh, this little tip will help you protect your investment because, hey, let's face it, anchors are not cheap. All right, guys, I apologize right now. You probably hear the lawnmower in the background. Uh, about the time I was going to finish this video, uh, one of the neighbors started mowing their yard. It's a beautiful Saturday. You can't really fault them for that. But uh, guys, as always, I want to thank you for watching my videos. If I've helped you out, please hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you think. And uh, maybe take a moment to subscribe. If you're on a mobile device, hit the little bell. It's located on the lower right-hand corner of your screen. And that'll give you a notification anytime I post a new video or go live. Guys, uh, always looking for new ideas for the Short Tip Saturday segment. If you have a question, if you have an uh, idea for a tip, something you want to see, please leave it in the comments section below. Uh, if I choose that, you're going to get a shout out, maybe see your name in an upcoming video. So, uh, guys, with that said, we're going to wrap everything up. It's nice out, it's not raining, and it's Saturday, so I'm going to try to take advantage of that. So, guys, until next time, we'll catch you out on the water. Appreciate you watching the Weekend Angler.